Samuel Leeds here, and one of the things that you need to be a successful property investor, in fact, to be successful just about in anything in life, is you need a whole lot of confidence. You need bags and bags of confidence. And one of the things I see holding people back is not their lack of competence, but their lack of confidence. If that's you, this video is for you, so stay tuned. I think one of the reasons people are afraid to be confident is because they're afraid to appear arrogant or they don't want to step out in faith and say, this is what I'm doing, and then it go wrong and then look like an idiot with egg on their face. But the thing is, unless you speak it out, it's not going to happen anyway. You've got to write down the vision, make it plain so that all can see. Um, some people say, oh, I'll believe it when I see it, but you've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to believe it first and then you see it. And to do that, you've got to have faith, you've got to have loads of confidence. So the, 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 the grapple, the fine line, in my opinion, between arrogance and confidence, because they don't want to look arrogant, they don't want to look cocky, is arrogance says that you're amazing and everyone else is rubbish and you're the best. Whereas, whereas confidence says, no one's better than me, but I'm not better than anyone. And I'm awesome, you're awesome, let's do this. I think that's confidence. So. That's the first thing. Will Smith says that the best things in life are always on the other side of fear. So if you're afraid about being successful, you're afraid about stepping out, you're afraid about picking up the phone, you're afraid about just being confident and going for it, just remember that if you're afraid, that's a good thing. Because one, if you're not growing, you're dying, and the only way to grow is to step out of your comfort zone. But two, when you push past that fear, there's always something glorious on the other side. That's the reason that I bungee jump so often. I bungee jump just because I find it terrifying. It's petrifying. And as soon as you jump, suddenly the glory comes. So it's the same in anything. So if you're afraid, you're afraid to pick up the phone, you're afraid to put in an offer, you're afraid to ask, ask to borrow money, you're afraid to sign the papers for the contracts for the property, do it, just do it, as long as you're competent because there's nothing more dangerous than a motivated idiot. So remember, number one is no one's better than you and you're not better than anyone, but number two is the best things in life are always on the other side of fear. so don't be afraid, be confident. And lastly, once you've done that, you've got you to gotta do this thing that I do. Before I make any decision, I always say, what's the best case scenario, and then what's the worst case scenario, and then what's likely to happen, what's likely to be the outcome? And then once you've done that, you can then make a decision. So, best case, let's say the best case is you make a thousand pounds. Worst case is you go bankrupt and have a divorce. Then I wouldn't even bother looking at the likely case because the best case is like, okay, fine. Worst case is terrible. So you've got to look at the best case, worst case. Worst case is, can I live with that? Is that going to financially bankrupt me? Is that going to cripple me? What's the best case? And then the likely case. And then you can just use your, your gut, your intuition and your common sense. Looking at these three things and then five, four, three, two, one it. Once you've got the decisions in front of you, you can just say, right, well, is it a good decision? and come up with a yes or a no. I hate maybes. Maybes are really bad. Um, I always say advise yourself as if you're advising someone else because you always give yourself bad advice, but you give other people good advice. So best case, worst case, likely case, what would you advise someone else to do? What did your gut say? Great, when you've got all the facts on the table, by the way, usually that takes me like 20 seconds, then it's just five, four, three, two, one. You do it, you make a decision. Richard Branson says, if someone offers you an opportunity, if a good deal comes along, say yes, then figure it out later. So hopefully that's helped. Step out, be confident. No one's better than you. You are awesome. Don't be a motivated idiot. Always work out the risk and the worst case scenario. Weigh it up and then just do it. God bless you. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you benefited from that video, please do share it with your family and friends. For more videos like it, you can watch right here. And if you'd like to spend two days with me at the Property Investors Crash Course, watch this video, see what happens. But whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe right here and I'll see you next time.